In 1906, muckraker Upton Sinclair published the novel The Jungle, which exposed the unsafe and unhealthy conditions in the meatpacking industry. At the time that The Jungle was written, the plants were horrible places to work. They were full of violence. They weren't clean. And frequently, diseased and dead animals were slaughtered and made into food. Before writing his story, Sinclair worked in meatpacking plants and witnessed the horrors firsthand. Upton Sinclair went into the plants and he saw dead animals being slaughtered. He saw filth all over the plant. He saw products going into sausage that shouldn't have been there. But more importantly, he came out of the plant radicalized by what happened to the workers, how they got chewed up the same way the food did. Workers were frequently injured on the job, losing fingers to grinders and slicing machines. Their skin and lungs were exposed to chemicals that could burn and destroy tissue. Injured workers were useless to employers, so they were quickly replaced, leaving them jobless and bringing suffering to their families. Sinclair hoped his story would raise public support for the workers. Instead, people demanded that the meatpacking industry be regulated. It was a wake-up call for the country. It was also the right book at the right time in American history. Up to that point in time, the public hadn't really thought too much about the conditions of the meat that they were buying. In 1906, Congress passed the Meat Inspection Act. It required meat plants to be cleaned up and meats to be inspected before they were shipped out. Other laws passed by Congress tried to make sure that other foods and medicines were healthy and safe. 